Hey guys, what is up the NeoCubist here? Welcome to episode 9 of my Minecraft 1.17 Survival Let's Play. So I'm in my new house, we got moved in, everything went well. Um, if my voice sounds any different, I think the room has different reverberations, so I do apologize. I'm planning on like sound, not soundproofing the room, but adding some sound foam. Oh, what's it called? I don't know, but it's like the foam you put on your walls, you see some YouTubers have it. It helps with sound like bouncing around the room. Um, but yeah, welcome to the series. Welcome to episode 9. It's been a while since I've recorded. It feels weird. I'm recording in a new place, so I'm sorry if I'm a little rusty, but you know, mentally it's kind of weird, you know, the, the first recording in the new house, but everything's going well. Happy we're in the house, and uh, yeah, I got an exciting weekend planned. Um, I don't have a bunch of concrete stuff, but I know a bunch of stuff that I need to do. Um, I have not finished the wall, guys. I didn't, I, I, I miss... Uh, <laughs> I misunderstood how much work it really is to move into a house, so I have had no time to do this wall, and I do apologize. We will get to it eventually. I did put this sign down that says, make grassy area, get silk touch, make an XP farm. I do intend to do all these things, but I do not know how to properly like make an XP farm because I haven't found a dungeon. So we're going to figure out some way to do that, probably either in the nether or something. Oh, okay, we're not going in there. Uh, probably in the nether, um, but I do know for now, I really want to get silk touch. Um, because I want to have, I want to have a grassy area. Like I want, I, I'm tired. Like I like the sand, right? But I want this whole area to be grassy, which might be a little tricky, right? We, <laughs> it might be a little tricky. And also, I have not farmed this cactus once, and I don't know. Like I know you can like, break it, but if it lands on the other cactus, it like goes away. So it's kind of tricky to farm. But I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all this. Isn't does something harvest this quicker? Does a hoe harvest it quicker? I don't know. Let me get a hoe and test it out. Okay, so we got the hoe. Let's hop down here. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the cactus did it, but I honestly don't think... I really don't think a hoe affects cactus. Let's see. No, it doesn't at all. So nothing affects cactus quicker. A long time ago, you used to be able to use a sword for blocks that didn't break quicker. Uh, but I think they patched that like five or six years ago. And I'm not getting hurt walking into the cactus? Wait, what's going on here, dude? What is going on? Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to question it, okay? I, I, I honestly, I'm not going to question it, but I am honestly very confused. Does it still break stuff? Yeah? But it's not hurting me. Dude, that's weird. I'm going to have to figure that out. But yeah, let, let, let me uh, harvest all the cactus. Yeah, that's really weird. The cactus, like, just literally isn't hurting me. I don't have anything on my armor that would cause that. Oh, yeah, we might need to make some new arbor, too. I think we'll go mining this weekend again, hopefully just for some diamonds. Uh, but we do have a fair bit of cactus, and I think for right now, I'll just put it in here because I don't really have a chest for it. Uh, but yeah, we need to go get some XP. So we do have all this stuff to build another portal. Obviously, we got enough obsidian. So let's go up here, and we're just going to grab some obsidian, make a flint and steel, and I'll meet you guys back down there. Okay, and I think for right now, I am just going to make another set of armor. I'm trying to remember. We have a helmet. Uh, we have boots, and then we have pants. And I'm going to go and, uh, yeah, I did craft some gold boots as well because I really don't want to die, you know. <laughs> I really don't want to. And I, I have not died in this world yet, but thankfully. I really genuinely don't know how. Uh, but, yeah, I haven't played Minecraft in, like, a week, which I always, like, I, I don't really play unless I'm recording just to kind of preserve my excitement. Uh, but I'm getting kind of hyped because I haven't been to the nether in this world yet, and I'm really curious to see what we can find. Hopefully, we have a good nether spawn. Um, but let's go to our enchantment area and let's see if we can grab just some enchants. I, I know we don't have a lot of stuff. Why am I not taking damage, dude? Hold on. Is something bugged? Dude, what is going on, dude? What is wrong? Okay, I'm going to reinstall Minecraft because this... What? Okay, hold on. Okay, apparently, I didn't play, press the record button, but I can now take damage. And uh, I enchanted my armor. I actually got some decent stuff. It wasn't 30 level enchants because I only had 29 levels. But we got protection 2 on those. On our golden boots, we got feather falling 4, protection 3. So some decent stuff. It really wasn't a bad like enchanting session. I'm sorry. I thought I clicked record. Oh, and I can take damage. Look. Nice. Even though I, I do have decent armor. So I'm not going to build a nether portal room just yet. I'm just going to kind of put a nether portal down and hope that we get a decent spawn. So let's just go in here. Let's see what happens. I'm really, I'm really kind of nervous. Oh, please give me somewhere good. Please give me somewhere good. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Uh, this is kind of an awkward spawn. 
we're kind of in the are we like in the ceiling or something we're only only 86 high up why is there such a big drop man okay well i almost just used my water bucket to get down uh, but that wouldn't have worked okay well let's do a little bit of exploring i i assume we can go somewhere over here and maybe there's something uh, but so far that seems like kind of a kind of a whack spawn you know oh gosh kind of a whack spawn so let's just see is there anything in this direction other than this weird what is this place called again basalt what is it called where's the thing oh, basalt deltas is what it's called interesting what was my coordinates 55 negative 29 okay i can remember that like probably oh it looks some more basalt deltas oh that's a lot of basalt deltas okay well i do want to get glowstone that's one of the reasons i'm here i do have feather falling four so i can kind of take a few drops but i'm not like trying to come here and like just fall off a bunch of stuff is this fortune two okay it's very we got fortune two so we don't want to waste this too much uh, but on the glowstone actually is going to be pretty nice let's just hope we don't break it above lava yeah there we go okay so let me harvest this glowstone real quick and uh i'll let you know how much we end up with but hopefully it should be a pretty good amount i just hope i don't fall and die wish me luck all right this is the last piece um how much actual glowstone is that though 30 glowstone okay I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I want to have some sort of lighting with that. And I might get some of this stuff. This stuff could be useful for building, although I don't really know what yet. Okay, this looks like a more normal biome over here. So I guess in this episode, we'll explore the nether a bit, and we'll see if we can find anything good. Um, I mean, I don't know personally if we will. Uh, what is my render distance on? 22? That's fine. Okay, I'm kind of nervous about this. <laughs> you got okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just circumvent your attack here by building over. There we go. So that looks like a normal biome. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll explore the nether in this episode. So if that's not your thing, I do apologize. But I think that's what we're going to do. Because I got to get some XP for next episode. I want to do some enchanting. I want to get silk touch. Build a grassy area. So I'm just going to farm some of this stuff. Because you guys know that gives you a lot of XP. Um, and then we can use the nether quartz to build some stuff. Um, I kind of want to build out an area for the cows more than just a hole in the ground. I really don't know. But I want to make some auto farms. Maybe an auto chicken farm. Um, I don't know. I want to go a lot with this Let's Play. I really do. This place looks nice, dude. Is my is my brightness? Yeah. Sorry, I just set up my office, I think, like two days ago. I gotta tell you guys, moving into a house, I've lived in an apartment for like five years now. Um, and now, I, you know, I'm in a house. You know, I would never be able to buy the car. Like, I'm only 22 years old. So, right, like most 22 year olds, you, you know, you don't really buy a house this young, at least anymore. Boomers, maybe they could, but. Um, I'm very lucky and it's thanks to you guys like I wouldn't be able to do this like if I didn't you know have a YouTube channel but you know I started this when I was young and now now I can buy a house so I'm very very lucky very blessed by you guys so thank you guys so much I really do appreciate all the support like infinitely I don't think you guys realize how much I appreciate you guys because uh, yeah, without you I don't know where I'd be <laughs> I really don't know what I'd be doing with my life I've always had like an entrepreneurial side. Like I want to, you know, be an entrepreneur. But I think a lot of people say that and they don't really do anything. I didn't plan on doing this. I never planned on YouTube being my job. Okay, a lot of people grow up now. They're like, I want to be a YouTuber. It's like, yeah, I I never said that. I just started making videos and just kept doing it. And eventually it worked out. Okay, well I said I would harvest this stuff, and now I've just been doing it on camera. So give me a little bit. We'll we'll film more of the exploring. So I don't think you want to watch me just break nether quartz and if you do i could do a live stream or something but yeah for now i'm just gonna do some nether quartz and see what i get i think i'm gonna collect this glowstone too because i really do want to have better lighting i like i, I like lamps but i'm kind of old school and i really like glowstone lights you know used to there was no uh lanterns you just had glowstone or torches and yeah glowstone's an old block it's an old old block now as for an xp farm i mean i'm open to suggestions one of these have silk touch oh that's why i broke one with an axe so i do have silk touch on something so i should be breaking it with my silk touch axe whoops i've completely forgot this had silk touch on it I, I really did i mean it's been a week since i recorded guys i'm i'm you know i'm forgetting stuff i'm getting warmed up but yeah i didn't realize that i could just nice okay yeah i'll just use this okay we got all the glowstone 
Uh, so we'll do some exploring and then we'll see if we can find anything. And if not, we'll just head back because I don't know how much stuff, you know, I'm really looking for here. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, I'm going to have to throw out some of this stuff. Might not need all that right now. Oh, uh, we don't even have 30 levels yet. We, we got to figure out, guys, a way that we can get XP because usually I've found a dungeon by now. Like, you guys know me. I always find dungeons, but I have unfortunately not found a dungeon. I found an Amethyst Geode. Which those do seem to be somewhat rare, but yeah, no, uh, no, uh, what's it called? No dungeon to be found. So let me explore some and then hopefully we can find like some sort of, is it a bastion? I don't know if I'm equipped for that because last time we're not in hardcore, right? So we don't lose all of our stuff, but I really don't think I'm equipped for a bastion just quite yet. Um, I don't really have a way to farm XP like literally at all. So hopefully we can find a dungeon, but if we can't, well, I can come up with something. Uh, whether it be a pigman farm in the nether or something like that. And this area over here looks weird, dude. This just looks weird to me. It's like all flat, but it's like really flat. Jeez. Yeah, perfect for a ghast. Come at me, buddy. Feel free. I'd love to fight. Okay, there's a hole with a mushroom. Um, oh, that's right. I can turn fog off because of Optifine. That's why the nether looks so weird. Okay, buddy. I, I, don't, I don't like you floating up here. Here, well, I'll, I'll, I'll turn the fog off real quick. There we go. I think the nether looks like a thousand times better without fog. So some people leave it on, you know, because it's like oh, people say it's cheating or whatever. I'm like, I'm of the opinion. I don't think it's cheating. I think it makes the nether just look like crap. I was wondering why it was like felt so sad to be in here. Because now look at it. Like, right? It looks so much better. And I wouldn't have found this bad boy over here. I wonder what's over here. It's like a gold block. Some crying obsidian in a chest. What's in here? Protection 2. Mending. Whoa, okay. Mending axe. Okay, we'll take that. We don't need this. We don't need any of this stuff. Protection 2. That's interesting. Okay, let's see. Can I get this gold block? Oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. All right, well, now that I'm done burning, I'm going to look around a little bit more off camera. If I can't find anything, then I'll just... Uh, meet you guys back in the overworld but you know it's not too much fun for you to watch me just hop around here and i don't know why the gas is okay i'm not even gonna question it gas are just so bugged dude they've been bugged for a long time but yeah let me do some exploring i'll let you know if i find anything cool that looks cool and i'm pretty sure it's a bastion right yeah i'm like 99 sure okay well, let's head over there and let's see if we die because uh, we are on hard like i'm 99 sure we're on hard uh, yeah, we actually, I remember, I, we confirmed that. Someone was like, Neo, you're not on hard. I'm like, okay, bet. And then I was like, tried to put it on hard. And it's like, sorry, you're already on hard. And I'm like, ha! That seems... That seems wrong. <laughs> I don't... I guess that's one of those... What are those things called? The floater dudes? I really don't know. But he's holding like... It's like the carrot on the stick used to be. But it's like the equivalent. It's like a something on a stick. A piece of food on a stick. Okay, please do not fall into lava. Okay, there's no way I can fall in the lava here. Okay, so let's go raid this bastion. Let's find out what's in here. What are my cords now? Okay, so I traveled like 500 blocks. Okay, not bad. Because I really, I mean, I have to find another fortress, you know, to get blaze powder to go to the end and stuff. But I'm not like rushing this or anything, but those were the days. Yeah, indeed, dude. This place looks giant. Okay, let's see if we can't come from the top. So I have some building materials, but not that many. Remember, I said I was going to use this for construction, and now I've placed it all on the ground. But it's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. I do have gold on, so they shouldn't, like, outright attack me. At least that's what I, I thought. I thought that's how it worked, right? They're not going to just, like, come at me and, like, kill me, right? Right? <laughs> I really don't know, and I hope not. Okay, guys. I would like entrance to your beautiful castle. Can that happen? I don't see anyone uh, stopping me. Okay, so there's stairs over here. So I don't know. I think there's like three kinds of these. I don't think I've ever been in this kind, but also just don't know what like they are. Check your recipe book. Okay, so there's a bunch of them. You guys are fine with me, right? No, you're not fine with me. Okay, apparently you're not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> I thought those guys were going to be way weaker. Okay, we're not prepared for this. I am not trying to lose my life. I am going to head back. Oh, wow. 
Rip. <laughs> he just he just he just aced himself there. Well, okay. Let's see if we can fall in this gap right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and block that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. I don't think this is a smart idea for me to be here. So I will meet you guys back home because honestly, like like I said, I'm not trying to die. Like I'm gonna treat this like hardcore, where I'm not like you know gonna be okay with death or anything like that. So let me run back home and I'll meet you guys back there. It'll be a while, so I'm not gonna make you watch. Uh, so I went back through my portal and I ended up over here. Uh, I don't really know how. I don't know why. I thought my nether part, I see my, my chimney over there. You guys can kind of see it. Why did I end up over here? Whatever. I don't know, nether portals can be kind of wonky sometimes. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can get Silk Touch. I mean, we don't actually know. We don't even have 30 levels. So we're going to figure out how to get 30 levels. How can we easily get 30 levels? Nether Quartz is the first option that comes to mind. But I want to make an actual XP spawner. Now, I know you can do XP spawners with, uh, I want to call them Aqua Domes. But I, I know it's called a, it's called a, an Ocean Temple. What is it called? It's called an Ocean Temple, right? Ocean Monument. That's right. Ocean Monument. You can make those Guardian spawners. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. Hmm. Let me look around on YouTube and see if I can find an XP spawner because I really, I'm really kind of at a loss for how to get XP. Usually I find a dungeon. I haven't really encountered this problem in a Let's Play before. Um, but let's go in here before we do anything. Let's put up some of these materials because I am just jam packed full right now and I need to organize some stuff. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'm also going to take this. No, I don't have any room. I'm not going to lie though. I am a little bit worried about Chieftain Glush coming at me. So sending, sending an attack my way because I haven't I haven't heard anything from him. you guys remember that book that we had that said uh, his brother Chieftain Glush is trying to kill me and his brother's like I don't really hate you but but uh, I'm just warning you he's gonna attack you and I'm like okay <laughs> so hopefully nothing happens I don't think anything will but if it does I mean obviously you guys will know and thank you for telling me about the budding amethyst like 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 it's basically an amethyst spawner I appreciate it because I would not know these things if you had not told me like I really wouldn't know so thank you guys for informing me about that I will make sure not to break any ever again because people were very angry with me understandably I guess but yeah let, let, let me just put up some of this stuff there's really not a whole lot to put up uh, yeah I'll just put the glowstone in here for now I want to build a bigger house. Um, I'm not going to do that yet, but obviously we're going to need a bigger house at some point because this house is kind of small. Um, it's really not that big at all. Uh, but yeah, let me look up some stuff about XP spawners and see if I can find one we can do real quick. All right, guys. Well, I couldn't figure anything out. Now, I do know that there is something you can do with potatoes. Okay. So I think we're going to do a mega farm of potatoes. Now, you may, you know, this may be controversial. Okay, you guys are like, Neo, I don't want to see a mega farm of potatoes. I have to do it. We don't have a way to get XP. Um, and I think smelting potatoes in giant quantities would be kind of awesome. Now, another thing that we could do is an auto cactus farm. I know that those are not too hard. So it's either going to be cactus or potatoes. Hmm. Let me, let me look up some info and figure this out. All right, it's been officially decided, guys. We're going with potatoes, guys. We're going with potatoes. I didn't say the P. We're going to potatoes. We're going to call them potatoes now. Oh, potatoes. Okay. Well, what I'm going to need to do is make a diamond shovel because we're going to need to get... Hmm. Actually, no. I may just end up planting them. We already have two water buckets. I may just end up planting them like over... Either either way, we have 45 bone meal. Uh, let me see if I can get some more bone meal. Hold on. Hey, well, I'm thankful I went in here. We had 15 more. And uh, in the nether, you know, you can find those bone structures too. I don't think I'm near one of those soul deserts or what is it? Soul sand deserts. So I don't know if we actually could get bone meal from there right now. But I'm just going to transform this area into a giant potato farm. Because, oh yeah, I didn't show you guys. But I did finish this bridge and I think it looks quite nice. Um, I took a lot of time to do. Uh, but luckily, you know, I didn't really have to break anything to build it. I already had enough wood and everything. But... Yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. It's not the best bridge in the world, but eh, it works. So, I know there's some floating stuff here that bothers me, too. So, I'm just going to make this into a giant f field of potatoes, probably, like, over in this area more so, uh, just because, you know, it's kind of flatter over here. Um, oh, I, didn't, I guess I didn't even realize there's a dark oak forest right there. So, this is going to be a long, drawn-out process. I just don't want to have to remove all these trees because I want to have an area to grow trees. Uh, but upon thinking, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make, I think I have enough diamonds to make a diamond shovel. Let me just go check. 
because we're gonna have to do a lot of terraforming and we need to sleep so let me go back home get some prep done and then we'll come back and do a giant potato farm oh okay well we actually had six diamonds i forgot that we had found more uh, apparently i had forgotten that entirely because i didn't realize that we had enough to even make another one uh let's see what we can get from the enchant why did i jump okay it didn't it didn't punish me that time and break my crop, but I know that one of these times it's going to do that. Oh, I think it's like, how much lapis is it for an enchant? Is it two for these? Yeah, it's two. Efficiency two is perfect. I mean, honestly, I just wanted to do it quickly. I don't want to sit there and break dirt for like three hours. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to sleep. And then obviously we're going to get to planting some potatoes and uh, we might need to make another hoe or two, but we can go upstairs and do that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what I was talking about with the sun, but I just looked at the sun, and the sun is over here. But I swear, I'm going to go watch that footage, dude. I'm not going crazy, right? The sun was over here, about to set, and now it's over here? Okay, hold on. I got some investigating to do. Let me, let me look at that again. We weren't taking damage from XP, and now the sun just reset? Uh, Let me look real quick. All right, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just not going to question it. I'll try to fix it after these three episodes. But you know what? If it doesn't turn... I mean, maybe I just got confused. There's no way, because I watched the footage, and I literally looked at the sun. It was, like, right here. I remember I zoomed in and said, yeah, it's about to be night, too, so I got to sleep. And then I turn around, and now the sun's up here. And it's moving. So, like, it's going through the day-night cycle. Ah, who knows? Okay. So, I made a bunch of hoes. We have a diamond shovel with efficiency 2. And uh, now we just got to plant a ton of potatoes. Now, again, I don't really have an exact way I want to do this, but I do know I want to make this area flat here. So what I'm going to do is just break this out. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. It might take a little bit, but that's okay. I am prepared to do so. But uh, yeah, give me a bit and let me, uh, let me get this done. And hey, one positive of collecting all this dirt is that I'm going to need all this dirt so that I can make grassy areas over here. I know I could make the grass like grow all the way from here to over there, but that would take forever. So we're just going to get silk touch and then put some grass down. Some little areas of grass that will kind of spread out and grow. Uh, but yeah, this is the progress so far. I haven't done a whole ton, but I've done a good bit. All right, well, I'm drilling the area out for the potato farm. Things are going okay. I put some barrels down because we're getting a lot of dirt. And I see these bad boys. I don't know what they're doing, but obviously they're trying to cause trouble. And I don't mind adding another pillager banner to my... Uh, my bait why did you get one shot in well oh, poor dude where are, where are your buddies really it was just the one okay well we have another ominous banner and we also have bad omen which is good but yeah this is the progress i've made i've drilled out a decent sized area again i mean this farm is going to be pretty big i will fill in these obviously i'm not going to like leave them there so give me a little bit i'm just going to keep on going i'll let you know when it's done all right guys i don't know if i made this discovery previously but when you hold down shift so like right you can only place two blocks down right but i can't do that third but if you hold down shift when have you been able to place three blocks i don't know but guys if that's been in the game for a while let me know and i'll feel like a big dummy but i had literally no idea you could do that so uh but yeah we're filling in all these little areas and yeah we actually have quite a bit of room to grow some potatoes and then we'll probably go down a layer right here so I'm going to get a bunch of sandstone. I'm going to kind of make this farm look really fancy. I think we'll get it all planted and everything in this episode. But the XP farm part of it is just going to be, you know, some hoppers and some smokers. It's not going to be anything like too, too intense. But hoppers and smokers basically just give us a bunch of stuff. Now, we don't have an automatic way to get something to smelt with. I know you can do that with kelp. So maybe we'll make an auto kelp farm that makes like kelp fuel or something. I really, I have no idea. But I'm kind of hyped because I've never done anything like this. And I'm hoping the potato farm works out okay. But yeah, for right now, I'm going to go gather a bunch of sandstone. I will, however, plant a few potatoes because, like, obviously I want them to grow. Um, and just while I'm kind of AFK. So let me just plant a couple of these potatoes here. Just go out four blocks. You guys know how it is. Connect them on over. Fill them in. And then I'll just plant the potatoes. we got to multiply them, though. But luckily, these bad boys multiply ultra quick. So we'll get this fully grown. And now we already have two more potatoes, okay? We'll fully grow these potatoes. Now we got eight potatoes. Okay, you see what I'm saying here? Now, I don't know. Maybe I can use my fortune three on my pickaxe. I actually don't think that's how that works. Is it? I don't know. Let's see. How many do we get from this? Okay, now we have 37. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe fortune does increase how many you get. Um, I really don't know. But either way, let me plant all these. I'm going to go get a bunch of sandstone. And I'll come back after I've gotten sandstone. I don't think I'm not making you guys watch me mine sandstone. 
If that's something you want to see, you want me to do live streams in this world, let me know because I'm always open to doing some live streams. Uh, but yeah, all right. Oh, this is only three. Whoops. Nice. Okay, so I just grew all the ones that I planted. At least I used all my bone meal. Now we have two stacks of potatoes. So that's more than enough to fill this bad boy up. And I know I've said this bad boy like 20 times, but this is a pretty bad spawn. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to make us so many potatoes. I think by the end of the episode, we will be able to fill in this whole entire area. Now, I don't know how much XP these are going to yield. So maybe I kind of shot myself in the foot by doing this. But hey, it's still kind of fun and I've never done it before. So I'm, I really am genuinely excited to see what happens. Hopefully something good. Um, probably not something bad. Now, let me count out one, two, three, four, and then put a block. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And well, this actually, yeah, it's actually the perfect size. Cool. And yeah, that's how I'm going to like water all these farms. If you didn't know that, yeah, they, you know, he goes four blocks out in every direction. I feel like everyone that plays Minecraft now knows this. If you're newer to the game and you don't know that, uh, well, now you know, and it's, it's helpful to know, you know, how far your water can really stretch. Uh, but this started off like, like, like I said, I mean, we had one potato when we started this and now we're, I mean, we're, we're just basically have a potato city here. We could start, you know, Frito-Lay factory and make chips, we could make some Lay's, all these potatoes. Is it just enough? I don't know. I don't have any more slabs and I'm also out of potatoes. No more potatoes. Oh no. Um, and then we'll probably want to use acacia wood. I think that would fit. Um, acacia wood for this so that way you can run over it without like feeling like you're gonna hit the wall okay so i'm gonna put up a bunch of materials so we're not gonna need any of this stuff we're gonna need a lot of sandstone so i'm gonna plan accordingly and i'm just gonna get just the most sandstone you've ever seen i'm gonna fill these up first though so one and two okay i'm gonna head over to my sandstone farm i'll be there for probably like 30 minutes real time and i should come back with like an inventory full of sandstone so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right, well, I mined out a bunch of sandstone, probably more than we're going to need. It isn't an inventory full, but you guys can see I made this room quite large. Watching a video on YouTube with some guys who own a de demolition company, and when they buy a building to demolish it, they or get the rights to they get the rights to everything inside the building, and like companies will leave ATMs full of cash. <laughs> I can't even I can't even believe that they leave. So I'm just watching this and like these dudes break it open. They just got like two thousand dollars out of one machine, and then they open one that has like four thousand. I'm like, dude, not a bad deal. So you get paid for the job, and then you get to keep all the stuff inside of it. I'm like, dude, these guys are these guys have a decent gig. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, being in a house is nice. I mean, it's a lot of responsibility, um, you know, like obviously to pay for it. And there's a lot of upkeep and stuff. But I bought a John Deere lawnmower right on lawnmower. Thanks to you guys. So thank you. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy mowing my lawn, which I know a lot of people like dread it. But I have like 0.6 acres of actual yard, which is really big. Uh, it's like 30, probably like 28,000 square feet of yard. So it's a lot to mow. I should really enjoy it though. Okay, so enough about my yard and my house. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna do a wall. Um, I wanted to do a sandstone wall only because like, you know, we're in a desert and I feel like it's kind of appropriate. Uh, how we're gonna do the wall, I really don't know. Um, maybe like do like kind of a, I don't know, like a wall that has some variation to it. I really don't know. Maybe something like this. I honestly, like, like I said, like I don't really have any plans for this. I'm um, just kind of doing it off the dome. So let me build this out and see how it ends up looking. I'm going to build the wall all the way around it, just kind of like this. And we'll build it all the way around this way. And then we'll kind of encapsulate how big I want the farm to be. So let me build it and I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right. So I'm making good progress on the wall. As you guys can tell, I'm just kind of going like one and one, two, three, and then one, two. If I could do it on camera, this is, this is basically how I've been building. Okay. So just go one and one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And I could do it pretty quick uh, at this point. Uh, it may look a little bit weird, like when you look at it from the side, uh, at least when you're up there, but that's not really the point. The point is for it to look good from the inside. Um, and then from the outside, you know, it, it'll still look decent as well. I still have no idea why the day night cycle is not working. So I'm going to have to fix that because it's kind of weird. Um, it's nice not having to sleep, but it's probably a bug with 1.17.1. Um, I really just don't know. Obviously, I don't think they'd like break something like that. Uh, but I figured I'd come back for just a second, just kind of explain how I've been doing. Uh, and then we'll just kind of finish it real quick because it literally has like very few left. And some people say they want to see me build more, but then like some people are like, I don't want to see the repetitive stuff. So ah, I'm, you know, I'm at a loss on what you guys exactly want to see. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to see me build a little bit. 
Okay, now this over here, we're gonna have to figure out a little bit. I think we're gonna maybe cut it off and have it connect like over here. Uh, we Either way, we have to have it like actually connect, you know, even to, and then, no, so we're gonna have to go, wait. <laughs> hold on here, hold on. So if this goes one, two, and then we have one, two, three, and then one, two. There we go. Okay, so now it connects even. So we have a, I think this is a big enough potato farm. Uh, do you guys think it's big enough? Hmm? And see, like, the sun just, like, reappears. I, I, I genuinely have no idea what's going on. I really do apologize. I just don't. I don't really know how to fix it, okay? I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big technical guy. So right now, we just have the barrels kind of blocking us a little bit. I don't even remember what's in here. Just a bunch of junk. Yeah, just like a bunch of junk. So I'll break one of those, and we'll make, like, a little path up here or something. Uh, but for right now, what I wanted to do was take as many slabs as I can get. Obviously, we have, like, an infinite source of acacia behind us. Not infinite, but close to it. So let's see how many slabs we can make. Okay. Now, I don't think this is going to be enough. We can at least try it. So what I'm talking about is I'm going to go around here and add a little bit of acacia spice to the build. Something like this, you know, because that's, that's kind of our theme of blocks. So I want to continue that theme and, you know, the builds even that's kind of outside of the desert. So give me a little bit. I'm going to go around and do what, you're, do what I'm doing now. This is not something I think you want to see me do because this is kind of, yeah. Okay, and it looks like we have enough slabs to do it. So we'll look around in a second because I'm like literally right at the end and we'll see how it looks. Spoiler alert, I already looked at it. It looks fine. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, now we have a better wall around our potato farm. Obviously, we're going to have to wait on the potatoes to uh, potate as I as they say, you know, in the, in the, in the country. They say the potatoes got to potato, you know, something like that. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do is just kind of make sure I can actually like plant everything um, by just kind of going around here, slabbing everything up and then just, you know, tilling everything. So let me go around and do that. We're going to fill in the whole entire farm with tilled spots and then I'll go back through and fill in any gaps there are with more water buckets. So again, not something, I'm sorry, this episode, you know, is a lot of me just like doing something and then showing you, but honestly, it's a potato farm. So it's not a bunch of like super exciting stuff, but next episode is going to be a little bit more fast paced. We'll just put it that way. All right, guys, well, I'm going to do it to him. I'm going to make a diamond hoe because these hoes are dying very quickly. And, uh, you know, we have some of it tilled, you know, a good bit. But I realize now that this is not going to last very much longer. And, yeah, we really got to build a staircase there as well. So we'll go back to the base. I don't know. I mean, you can enchant it. Well, you can enchant a hoe. But if you if you don't get on breaking, it's kind of useless. And I'd rather save my levels. So hopefully this potato farm will actually yield a good bit of, you know, XP. If it doesn't, <laughs> if it doesn't, I'll be kind of disappointed. But hey, we'll have a lot of potatoes. You know, maybe that's good for a trade or something that I don't realize. And, uh, you know, I'll be a happy man if I can get some trades at least out of the deal. Or maybe I can trade with the with the bad people and see if they'll take some potatoes off my hands and give me something a little more useful. We'll see. Uh, but I don't know. I, I don't really like them. I don't think they like me and I don't think it's going to work. So we'll take two diamonds out of our diamond stash. And uh, I thought we had some sticks. Probably doing here. Yep, we do. And then let's just go ahead and do it to him. There we go. Not a big deal, though. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not a big deal. And our tool chest is full. Man, we really got to get to work on a bigger house. So I think I want to live in a pyramid. You know, it's like only kind of uh, only kind of necessary that we live in a pyramid because we literally live in a desert. So oh, we're going to have to get a lot of XP. And we also need an auto smelter. So maybe we're going to do that next episode, get an auto smelter going. And then maybe we can construct the pyramid on Sunday. Uh, so on episode 11, who knows? But there'll be three episodes this week again. I'm sorry there was only two last week, but, you know, I moved into a house, so I didn't really have time. It's a lot more work than you'd think. Um, and I only moved from an apartment into a house. And I know if, you know, obviously you move from like a house to a house, it's probably even harder because you have so much stuff. But... Ah, whatever. Sorry for last week, only two episodes. But I hope you guys understand, and there will be three every weekend from now on. And then when school starts, maybe we'll go back to two. I don't know. But yeah, let me finish this uh, tilling job. All right, guys, the last water bucket is going in. There we go. That was less, that was more anticlimactic than I had hoped. But the whole thing is tilled. Is this a big enough potato farm? Sorry, I pressed F3 because for some reason I thought that I could see how big it is, but I don't really know where I was going with that one. Um, but yeah, it seems big enough. You know, I don't know a whole lot about size of potato farms, but that seems quite adequate. So I'm going to break through. I don't actually know. No, I don't think very many of those are fully grown. So we'll go ahead and remove this right here um, and then transform this into tilled soil. 
And then right here, we're just going to build a little walkway. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to make the walkway out of. I do know that I got to go put up some stuff, then come back here so that we can organize that a little bit better. And uh, yeah, give me a second. I know we're past 30 minutes, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys don't really mind. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this series. This series has been doing better than any series that my channel has done in like a month or two. And uh, I'm really appreciative. And if you guys want to see any other series, let me know. But for now, it's just going to be the Let's Play. I think one series at a time is honestly the best way to go about things because then I can actually focus like what I'm thinking about and like ideas for the series. I really hope the potato farm works all because I wanted to build a grassy area inside my base. That's literally the entire reason for doing this. Um, we also have a lot of sandstone. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to need some more storage. So we haven't even used these storage containers over here. So we'll just start putting like maybe just sand materials in that. Because I really don't have like a storage area. This base is not big enough to handle like storage areas. But, you know, eventually I'd like to, you know, build a bigger base like a pyramid. Um, and when I say build a pyramid, I mean like a really big pyramid. I'm not talking like some little puny pyramid, okay? We're talking gigantic, ginormous. So we're going to have dirt storage and then sand-ish kind of material storage. Now, I don't think I don't have any more bone meal or anything like that. I mean, I really have nothing. We've got some glow ink sacks, which is nice. Um... But no real way to speed up the growth. Oh, I can't even see the mega potato farm. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I have a hoe with me now. Look, we, we used almost literally all of uh, <laughs> almost all the durability. So we tilled. There's going to be... If each one can drop three, that's like what? That's like 900 or so plus what was already tilled. So there's probably like 1,000 spots. If each, one, if each one can drop like three, that means we can get 3,000 potatoes per harvest. Uh... <laughs> Maybe that'll be enough. <laughs> okay. Maybe I made too many potatoes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But either way, guys, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see it. I can't stand this anymore. So we're going to try to figure out how to deal with this. Um, because I'm done. I'm done walking over here. And because you, you guys know that feeling when you walk in an area and there's floating trees and you're like, oh, I'll take care of it later. And then it's like a month later and you're like, yeah, I still haven't taken care of that. I'll take care of it later. We're going to take care of it right now. And I don't have my flint and steel with me. Or I just burn this whole thing down. Actually, no, that's probably not a good idea. Like all of my wood supplies from this little forest right here. So that might not be wise. Um, I do want to get some leaves um, and not like this. So I'm, I'm going to try to find some iron over here or something. I feel like I can always find iron pretty quick. So we'll just kind of run around and see if we can find some iron. Okay, there's what's preventing this bad boy from dropping. Let's go ahead and take away that. There we go. I'll take that piece of wood. Where is it? Yep, thank you, sir. Oh, caught on something else. Okay, he's trying to steal my wood. Okay, those should all deteriorate. Okay, let's run around for a second and see if we can't find some iron. I really feel like over here, at least on this exposed area, there's going to be some. I see coal, which we may need a piece of coal. So we'll just grab like one little piece right here. Okay. That gave us one. That's fine. I just want to make some shears because I have an idea for some leaves. And there's more cows over here. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Are you hiding iron? You got, any, you got any iron in here? Surely there's some iron. Surely there's some iron. I mean, I always take a little bit more coal, but I really would prefer it if I could get some iron. Okay. Well, now we have 31 coal. I will, of course, always take some more coal. Uh, we're actually running really low. And, uh, you know, when we make this auto smelter, we're probably going to need a lot of coal. Um, and now hopefully we get a lot of XP from it, too. You know, hopefully it's like a, you know, a double benefit. Is this one of the goats? No, I thought that was one of the new goats, but it's not. Uh, we'll go over here. Maybe there's some cave. It really just needs to be like a small cave. Like, I'm not asking for anything big here, Minecraft. Just a, just one of your standard, just one of your standard size caves, please. Oh, here we go. So this is standard cave. And a little bit of iron. Iron. Give me some oil. Can I get some oil? No? No oil? No iron? All right. America has left the chat. Okay, please. Just, just come on. No more no more memes, okay? I just want I just want a little bit of iron. Dude, dude this is like a fat cave. There should be. There we go. I was going to say, there should be some iron in here. Because we have so much at our house. Like, I know I could run back there, but where's the fun in that, okay? L let me get enough cobble, of course, to make a furnace here. Is that eight? No, I already had some. Okay, so I'm going to run back over here. We're going to make a furnace. going to get some shears. Just because I noticed the outside of this build is looking a little shabby. Um, you know, just just a wee bit shabby. And watch what happens. Tell me if you can figure this out. Tell me if you can figure this out. Just watch. 
Watch, watch the sun very closely. I'll turn around. I'll turn around and look. No, I'm just kidding. But look, if you just watch it, as soon as it gets down to like a, a certain level, it just reappears in the sky in the other spot. I genuinely have no idea. Something in the, yeah, something in the files must have gotten messed up. So I'll have one of my technical friends look it over and see if I can figure it out. Cause I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, it, it, it just looks a little shabby. I know you guys are looking at you know, what the heck does shabby even mean at this point, man? You're just saying it looks shabby. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So please stop. Well, when I say shabby, I mean, it doesn't look good, you know, obviously. So we're going to make a little furnace here, a little impromptu furnace. Maybe we're going to put it closer. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to put it all the way over there. I'm like right next to where I should be. And uh, we're going to get just probably like four or five stacks of leaves real quick. It'll take two seconds, I promise. And then we're going to de the base. So let's just put this in here. Put our iron row. Only got, okay. So I'm going to put some leaves on this hill right here. Because this hill like just doesn't have anything. It just kind of looks weird without, you know, something here. Especially when the wall is just kind of bare. I don't know. I, th I think this will look good. I'm just trying to shave off all this just so that we don't have any issues here. Now, I think I'm going to make the path out of acacia wood. So we'll go over here. Um, I don't know how much how much stuff is in here. Can I even hold all of this? Okay, yeah, the answer was yes. Apparently I can. Okay, but not very well. Now I don't have any room. Okay, we're going to use some stairs, and that is fine. I really don't care if we use slabs or stairs. I prefer the way slabs look, but honestly, stairs for right now are going to be okay. Uh, we just need to make like a path that actually works. It does not have to be even or anything like that. I will make it look good. I promise. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin the aesthetic of this beautiful Minecraft world. Okay, N never, 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 never. Okay, and there we go. Now we have a little bit of a, little, a little bit of a path over here. How about that? That looks terrible like that. Okay, we're we're gonna go one block in. We need some slabs actually right there. There's some instances I want to use slabs. Some instances, some instances I want to use stairs. Okay, it just really depends on the mood, in the area. Okay, then we'll put a little support down like right here, and uh, you know what? Since we have a mix of materials, we're gonna try this out, see how it works. Um, if it, if it looks bad, it'll be okay. But I think honestly, having a split material like for some stone can look good. And then we don't have any leaves yet, but we'll handle that in a minute. Okay. This whole area right here. Gotta clear this off. This is just gonna show how intense our potato farm is. That it's it's overgrown so much that it's gonna have its own leaves around it. So we'll just go around the whole thing. That's gonna be a lot of seeds. I do not need any more seeds. Please, no more seeds. Please. Okay. I don't want to keep a rotten potato. I, w I will keep one potato. I feel like that's kind of ser I almost said ceremonious, but I don't think that's a word. <laughs> I can make up words all day, okay? I, almost, I, I, I don't even know. Sometimes I'll just say things that just literally make no sense. It's like, Neo, are you okay, buddy? Okay, let me go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Where's my craft table? Oh, man. My, where did craft... Where's, where's... Oh, I had two. What? Why didn't I pick it up then? Okay, let me go clean my inventory out a little bit because we're going to need all the space we can get. And then I'll come back. Uh, so just give me one minute. Look at me not even using the staircase I just built. Like, what is wrong with you, bro? All right. I'm going to see something because I don't know the answer. And I don't want to ask it in the comments and then wait a week to see it. Can you enchant shears? Now, you may think you can't, but I don't think I can either. But can you? No, you can't. But I think you can apply, like, you know, via an anvil. Uh, an enchant to it like you know efficiency or unbreaking oh, that's right cactus has hurt me once again i'm no longer invincible i do like how the path looks you know it turned out to be green which is obviously you know what copper is going to do and uh you know i like it I, I i think it looks pretty good i don't know let me know in the comments do you think it looks good um but yeah let me go over here shave off some acacia tree leaves and uh we're gonna see we're gonna see how this bad boy turns out i have a feeling it's gonna turn out pretty good uh, but I, of course, am extremely biased because you know, I'm the one building it. Now, how much, how many leaves can I break from down here? Okay, so not very many. So we're going to do something magic. We're going to go over here. We're going to use acacia leaves. Mm, big brain move. We're going to get up here and we're going to break them from the top. So let me give me a minute. I'm just going to do this. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Well, both my shears are already broken. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of leaves actually down here on the ground. So let's just grab as many as we can. 
Uh, I do appreciate how it bunches everything up now. That is kind of helpful. Oh, will this be enough leaves? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Let's just kind of... Uh, I'm going to put this over here at 26. Okay. So what I was planning on doing was going over here and just kind of building some like... Why is there another potato there? Oh, did I draw? That's right. That's the one I dropped. So I'm going to start from over here because it's going to be kind of hard to, to hard to traverse after I do this. I don't know, like again, I don't know exactly what I'm what I'm gonna be doing here. Basically, just building some leaves down. I feel like that can kind of help everything look a little bit better because the wall just looks kind of weird how it is right now. Okay, we got to remove those. Um, so I feel like this will kind of help the aesthetic of the build maybe a little bit, you know. And I don't want to have too many leaves. But I just kind of want to have like little paths of them kind of come down, and uh, we won't even have them connect. Okay, it'll be something like this. Does that look, does that look good? I don't know. I mean, you obviously can't really see it uh, from down here. There's some places, you know, where I'll kind of modify it and go around. Uh, you know, for instance, over here, maybe thicken it up a little bit. This one maybe needs a little thickification. Okay. Looks good. And this can, you know, just add a little bit of texture to your world, especially if it's just going to be a plain wall like this. If you want to add a little something, spruce it up a little bit. Actually, acacia it up a little bit. Ha! 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 Not funny, but you know, acacia up your build a little bit. Now, these ones are touching, but that's fine. You know, if it's a natural growth, you know, eventually it's going to happen where they kind of collide a little bit. And, of course, that's okay. You know, you, you don't want everything to look too sterile is basically what I'm trying to say. You know, and by sterile, I mean, like, you know, uniform and, and kind of like how when you walk in a modern house, it's just like everything is just like plain and bland and you're like, and it just makes you want to, like, die. I, I do like modern houses in real life somewhat, but... They can I almost bought a really modern house till we figured out it has some water damage. And then I was like, nope. <laughs> I don't it was already enough buying a house that doesn't have any water damage. And buying a house with water damage? Yeah, count me out on that one. Count me out on that one, boss. Okay. Let me just go around here and uh, place all these leaves and I'll show you how it ends up looking. I know we've already kind of run out of time here on the episode. It's okay though. I'm sure you guys don't really mind. Um but I feel like this can kind of help the aesthetic of the build. Kind of break up everything and make it look a little bit better. So give me a little bit. Let me finish placing all these leaves. All right. And there we go. So now it just kind of looks like a big planted area. Um, I hope I hope it makes more sense. Maybe you guys think it looks trash, but it's okay. You know, I, I think it looks fine, uh, especially once, it, you know, you kind of get used to it. And obviously, I can add more things to kind of grow it in there, like some flowers or something. I don't really have very many flowers, but let's look at it from afar see how it is we'll break all the potatoes see how much progress we can make on filling up the potato farm and i guarantee you this is going to look a whole lot better oh yeah that looks a lot better i just really like the way that looks that's nice um and that's that really is just going to help i promise i mean it just it just looks so much more like it's in place there and not just kind of like sitting there now this little thing right here <laughs> i bet you had enough you know uh, modified the staircase just a little bit um let's go in here let's see how many potatoes we can get I know not all of them are grown, whatever. I really don't care. The ones that aren't grown are going to, you know, kind of outpace the ones that are grown anyways. Man, they've gotten really aggressive with the item bundling here. Like, to an extreme degree. Look, items from all the way over there. Items from Texas to New York are combining. That is quite a bit. Okay. I was not expecting to get that many. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of plant these throughout here. I'm going to do it random because I know that crops grow fastest when they're kind of randomly spread at least that's my understanding of how crops work maybe it got fixed i don't know i don't really care but i'm gonna run around here and just kind of plant them like this and when i'm done i'll come back and show you how it looks and there we go guys the potato farm has been fully planted now of course i think these i think they're gonna grow quicker like this with the space in between them but we'll see we'll come back next episode if we're doing some stuff and we'll just kind of figure out and see if it's going quicker but thank you guys for watching episode nine if you watched the whole episode and you're not subscribed i want you to ask yourself why are you not subscribed and uh, if you come to the conclusion that you think you should be and then I would have very much so appreciate your subscription. But of course, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. If you want to, cool. If you don't want to, that's also cool. I just appreciate your support via your viewership. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode and you want to keep seeing more of this series, please do let me know by leaving me feedback, a.k.a. using the like or dislike button. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it'd be nice if you did. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. The secret code for today's episode is going to be... 9218. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Again, it is 9218. So 
If you don't know what a secret code is, it's basically something I give at the end of my videos, and you can put that in the comments to become part of a secret club where you have watched the entirety of today's episode, and you can discuss it and also confuse people who go in the comments and they're like, why is there a bunch of numbers? So put that secret code if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of the video. I'd be very appreciative. Again, 9218. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye.